This is my 
Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You never fail Your promise still stands. Your promise still stands. Oh God, the everlasting arms of our maker. This is my confidence. You never Your promise still stands. We have an assurance with our God. I don't know about you, but he is the only one that rose from the grave. Every other God is deader than dead. But our God, he's still alive. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. You've been the fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of His Spirit, washed in His. How you died for me on Calvary is more than enough. Come on, say I trust, say I trust in God. It's a simple song. Come on, my Savior, who will never get.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they ask you, do you, do you own your hands? I'm not here. Do you own your hands? Do you borrow your hands this morning? Are you sure you didn't borrow those hands? Come on then, let's put it together. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to move around. Look three, four, five people. Greet them. Tell them I love you. There is nothing you can do about it. Amen. Show somebody some love. Michael. There was a song we were singing last two weeks. We are joint heirs with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. We are one. We are heirs. We are heirs of the Father. We are joint heirs with the Son. Oh, we are children. We are family, we are one, we are head, we are head of the Father. We are joint heads with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are family, we are one, we are head, we are head. together come on let's let's celebrate him let's celebrate jesus let's thank him for a wonderful two weeks two weeks of fasting and prayer you have done very well i'm very proud of you Hallelujah. come on put your hands together amen what an awesome time hallelujah turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor welcome to the family Amen. This is where we live by faith and we dominate our world. Amen. Please take your seats at this time. Today is the 16th day of the fasting. We are breaking through. We are breaking through. We are making a headway. One more week, so hold on tight. Amen. This morning... We want to celebrate the man and the woman of God who for the past 40 years, the Lord have kept them. The Lord have kept them. The Lord have kept them. The Lord have been faithful to them. What an awesome leaders. Can you rise on your feet and let's give them a shout. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, 40 years is nothing cheap. Four decades. And they are still together. Doing better. Growing stronger. Breaking more grounds. And affecting more souls. What an awesome leadership. Let's give the Lord a shout. Amen. Next Sunday, get yourself ready. Let's celebrate them. Amen. Amen. But now let's celebrate each other. Turn your, to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I am glad you are here. I'm glad you are here. Amen. 
Amen. Let's put our hands together and let's welcome our cyber sanctuary. Wherever you are watching us, you are welcome. We are excited. You have you've joined us at this time. We are glad you came. Amen. After the first visitors, wait. Bishop will give you a very special welcome. So if you are worshiping with us for the first time, you are welcome, but you hear the voice of the bishop himself. Amen. I want you to be seated and be in expectation. We are going to take the video announcement. Then the dance ministry will come and give us a dance and a play. Amen. But first of all, we'll do the prayer. Pastor Ennis and Pastor Eugene, the prayer. Then the video announcement. Then the dance ministry. Then the second announcement. Then it will be time for tight. Today, the confession will be led by our resident pastor in Ghana, Dr. Debbie. Amen. Shall we receive the video announcement at this time? And will inhabit. To engage with us online, please take a moment to follow, like, and subscribe to Rima Word Live on YouTube, LFMIC US on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Our weekly service schedule is as follows Thursday is our Success in Life service at 7 p.m. Friday at 7 p.m. is youth meeting. Saturday morning at 7 a.m. is Jericho Hour. And Sunday morning is our celebration service, a time of praise, worship, dance, seed sowing, fellowship, and of course, a time to receive the Rima Word of God. On behalf of Dr. Dominic and First Lady Naomi Alate, we would like to thank you for worshiping with us today here at Rima House. Thanks for your participation in making this vision successful. Together, we can move mountains.
Can we do it one more time? Of the agenda 12, where each and every person is supposed to win a soul every single month. Amen. Hallelujah. Into the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you haven't won a soul, you win, you own how many souls now? Three. Three souls you own to the Lord Almighty. May the Lord give us the grace. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. If I can have, if I can have the easy to read version. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Let's read it one. Let's go. And now, Lord, listen to what they are saying. They are trying to make us afraid. We are your servant. Help us to say what you want us to say without fear. Hallelujah. Can we take it again? One, let's go. And now, Lord, listen to what they are saying. They are trying to make us afraid. We are your servants. Help, Help us, us to say, say what you, you want us to say without, without fear. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to pray that as we embark on this commission, Amen. whatever threats they bring our way, yes. the power of God will embolden us to overcome it. Amen. Hallelujah. That we'll be able to speak without fear, intimidation, yeah. in the name of Jesus. That Amen. With the boldness of the Holy Ghost. That truth we must preach. We have to preach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Yes. Somebody shout, oh God. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name we of activate Jesus. your word. We activate your your word, word says, oh God. Says, oh you, God. Haven't you haven't given the us the spirit of fear. The spirit of Therefore, fear. Today, Therefore, today, we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus name of that Jesus. the spirit of boldness, the spirit of boldness will, indwell us will indwell us from the crown of our head from the crown to of the sole of our feet as we reach, oh God, and preach your word, preach your winning, word. Souls winning souls into your, into your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, name of lift Jesus. your voice and pray this morning. Lift your voice Help and pray. We are your servants. We are the servants of God. We pray, Mark and and No fear, no boldness. intimidation will ever prevent us from spreading the word of the Lord, from preaching the word of the Lord, from winning souls into the kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice and pray. The Father, O oh God, Empower me, empower me, he strengthen me, oh God, in the name of Jesus, without fear and intimidation, to preach your word, to witness your word boldly, he drawing souls into your kingdom, in the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice in prayer, lift your voice, Kadimika, he's in the Lebron de Maka, he behind the Lebron de Ha, he's in the Lebron de Maka, Kadimihaya, he Kadumi Ayando Lebosaya, Zadime Kabaha. We are your servant, the Father, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, somebody that believe God has heard us shout a big amen. Amen. The, I, the Lord is with you. The Lord bless you. This the is, Lord is with you. It is my year of, super, of notable miracles. I am for signs, I am for wonders. No, you don't believe it. I said it is my year of notable miracles. I am for signs, I am for wonders. Amen. How many of you are excited we are in the last week of the fast? <laughs> oh, come on. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I am, I am. Man, this morning I put on my pants and I said, Jesus. See, with me, when I, what the Bible says, give unto Caesar. What belongs to Caesar and give unto the Lord what belongs to the Lord. When it's time to fast, I fast. When it's time to eat. You see me, all the mothers in the house, get ready. Your kitchens are about to be busy. I'm coming. How many of you are excited? We are in the last week of the fast. Today is day number 16. Every spiritual attack. Amen. I didn't hear an amen. Amen. Shall we all read together? Ready? Read. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, 
As a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Lift your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, today as we clap and pray, we, clap and pray we, declare, we declare, oh God, oh God give us the sermon. Give us the sermon. Give us the sermon to, to identify and to counter, and to counter every spiritual attack every spiritual in, the attack. in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody clap your hands Lift and let's your pray. Voice, Come on, clap your hands and let's pray. In the name of Jesus, today, day number 16 of this, no weapons conference of prayer explosion, prayer explosion, prayer explosion, and power us, oh God, with the spirit of discernment, with the spirit of discernment to identify every spiritual attack that is coming in 2024 in the name of Jesus. The adversary, the devil, will not find us this year. He will not see us this year. We escape the attack of the adversary. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout a big amen. Amen. Shall we welcome, let's be seated please, and let's welcome the dance ministry.
Oh, what a powerful ministration. Are you clapping or are you doing something like clapping? Amen. Happy Sunday, church. Happy Palm Sunday, church. Amen. Welcome to March 2024. This is our breakthrough month. Amen? Amen? This year, 2024, there's an agenda. Agenda 12. Every member of this church is expected to win 12 souls this year. Amen? Very doable is simply one soul a month. Amen? Amen. Today is Palm Sunday. On, and that's a good place to clap. On this Palm Sunday, let us remember the significance of the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. As we reflect on this day, let us also reflect on the humility, love, and sacrifice that Jesus exemplified through his life and teachings. Just as the crowds laid palm branches before Jesus, let us also lay our burdens, worries, and fears at his feet. Let us welcome him into our hearts with joy and gratitude, knowing that he is the Prince of Peace who brings hope and salvation to all who believe in him. As we journey through Holy Week toward through this Holy Week towards Easter, be reminded of the ultimate sacrifice Jesus has made for us on the cross and be inspired to follow his example of love, compassion, and forgiveness in our own lives. Let us continue to faithfully walk with Jesus, not just on this Palm Sunday, but every day, trusting in his guidance and grace as we strive to live out his message of love and redemption. Amen? Amen. March 31st, who knows what's coming? Hey, it seems like we don't really know what's coming. <laughs> this coming Sunday, March 31st, is Resurrection Sunday. It is the reason for this season. Amen? It is a time to reflect on the most significant event in our faith, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Also, there's another celebration as well. We will be celebrating a milestone in the lives of our bishop and first lady, their 40th wedding anniversary. Amen. So let's come together to show our love and appreciation for our bishop and first lady as we celebrate both the resurrection of Jesus and their incredible 40 years of marriage. Amen. Amen. And do not forget that we're in day 16 of our 21-day prayer explosion. We will be continuing tonight and every night at 7 p.m. until March 29th. Amen? Amen. Are you putting your hands together? <laughs> Hallelujah. What a wonderful performance. I think it's a good place to clap our hands. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter number seven. Deuteronomy chapter number seven. Verse number 12, 13, 14, and 15. I've been sharing, I've been explaining this to everybody. All the people around me. And all my sons, and we, I've been telling everybody, you have to understand the difference between the blessing and money. You can have money and you will never have the blessing. But you can't have the blessing without having money. And you can have the blessing and the money will not be there, but it's just a matter of time. The blessing is not money. The blessing is more than money. The blessing encompasses every area of your life, your health, your favor, your security, um, uh, uh, your healing, your relationships, um, every area of your life. The blessing encompasses every area of your life. The, the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord, it, it make it, it's not... The blessing itself is not the riches. It's, it's more than riches. And if you are not very careful, you, your mind and everything will be money, 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 and you lose the blessing. 
This is the reason why a lot of people are doing a lot of stupid things. Because they take, I mean, a, they, they allow, I mean, they are overtaken by money. And they think that money is everything. Money is not everything. The blessing of God is everything. I'm, I'm, am I talking to somebody here? The greatest defense you have in your life is the blessing of God. The, the, that's the greatest defense. Money can, listen, the, you, you can come to a point in your life when the doctor said you, can, you won't survive this. Money can bring you back. But the blessing will bring you back. May the blessing bring you back. I'm not, I said, may the blessing bring you back. So Jesus, Jesus says, uh, he says that if you are not faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who shall commit into your hands the true riches, which is the blessing? Now, in chapter 7, verse 12, he said, Wherefore, it shall come to pass, if you hearken to his ju these judgments and keep and to do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep thee, shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy he swore unto your fathers. Now look at it. If you, 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 you get this judgment, statutes, precepts, God's word, and keep them, and do them, and keep them. Let's all say after me, say, and keep them, and do them. I'm not here. Let's say it again. And do what? You see, and do what? You see, you hear, you keep, and you do. Let's say it, say it, say it after me, say, I hear, I keep, and I do. You see, because if these three processes are not working in your life, I can guarantee you. Listen, I've been around for a while. Growing up, I saw people with all kinds of, I mean, houses and all that. I'm looking back. Huh? They are, they are, they, even their children, their children, some of them, their children are dead. Some of them, their children are destroyed totally. I, I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen it over and over and over. And I concluded that you can have all these houses, you can have all these cars, you can have all these things. It is not those things that matters. It's how those things can outlast you. And, and then you can be able to give them to your children and to your children's children. So the more you are growing uh, or, or the more the years passes, the bigger your, your, the blessing becomes on your, the, ne the next generation, the next generation, the next generation, the ne because it's a con the blessing of God gives us a continuity of our generations. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Look at the verse two, two, 13. Verse 13. He said, and you will do what? Let's read together. Let's go one go. And do what? And bless thee and do what? Let's read it again. One go, he will do what? He will love thee and do what? And bless you and do what? And multiply thee and he will also do what? Amen. He's talking about your children. I don't know about you, but my children are blessed. Oh, yeah, yeah. My children are blessed. My sons, my spiritual sons, my biological sons, all of them, my daughters, all of them are blessed. Do you have, the, I mean, the, the, are, the, are you getting it? Are you getting this? Lift up your right hand and say, my children are blessed. Say amen. My grandbabies, all of them are blessed. Come on, say amen. No, you have a grandbaby. You will have one. I, I say you have a grandbaby. Come on here. Your grandbabies, thank you very much. Come on, your grandbabies are blessed. Say amen. I see scholarships and scholarships and scholarships and scho uh, scholarships. Amen. Leadership and, 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 and prominence is in your future. I didn't hear. I spoke to only three people. I said leadership and prominence are in your future. Your children shall make you proud. Come on, say amen. Church, come. I mean. Understand, understand the blessing. Understand, understand the blessing. See, so me, I don't, I, I don't struggle to give at all. If you walk around me, you will understand. I don't struggle to give because I understand the connection between my giving and the blessing. Say amen. Look at it. 
He will, he will love you. He will bless you. He will multiply you. He will bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of your land, your corn, your wine, your oil, the increase of your kind, the flock of the, your, your, your sheep in the land which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee. Verse 14. And he said, and he said, verse 14, hurry up. And he said, thou shalt be blessed above all people. Oh my God, Jesus. I receive this. Can you stand and say, I receive this? May you be blessed above all people. I'm not here. May you be blessed above, above, above all people. Listen, everywhere you find yourself, you shall be the head. Amen. You will always be recognized. I want you to turn to three, four people and say, wherever I am, I will be recognized. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I received that word. Bless above all people. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. He said, look at it though. Thou shalt be blessed above all people and there shall not be, be a male or a female barren among you or among your cattle. That is, the work of your hands will never be barren. I'm not, I said the work of your hands will not be barren. Come on, say amen. amen. Give me the verse 15. I love this scripture. So. And the Lord shall take away from you. How many sickness? Oh. Come on, shout it. How many? Oh. Am I, I'm, not, I'm not hearing. How many? Oh. oh, sickness. And you do what? And you will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt with that knowing upon thee. But he shall let them that hate you. If you hate me, you're in trouble. Say amen. Are, are you understanding this? Please convert the, the blessing. Take your seat. Convert the blessing. You see, money has this power. Okay, that can fight you. Money can fight you. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how to explain. I, I think I need to do a whole series. Money can become your friend and money can become your worst enemy. And when money is your enemy, money, when, the, when money is your enemy, it is better if Satan is your enemy. I'm telling you. I think I have to do a whole teaching on it. Money is a dangerous enemy. As the Bible says, why? People converted, they pierce themselves. You see, money is the enemy that can make you hurt yourself. Money will make you hurt, you will hurt yourself. Convert the blessing. If you have your tithe here, come. It's one of the one of the things we do to stay under the blessing. You have it, come. Every time you call for giving, I'm there. Every time you call, I'm there. Understand. Understand it. I'm asking for God to give me the grace to be a giver. I want to be, I want to have the ministry of giving. No joke. My, 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 my uncle, my uncle had these big mansions. 40, 50 years ago, the sons, my son, the sons, you can't even look at them. In 1960, my uncle owned homes in Brooklyn. He lived, my uncle lived in London. His office was in Geneva. So every day he go, so you can imagine, in 1960, he owned houses in Accra that were rented by embassies. When he died, he died in the village. All his children are messed up. He died in the village. I'm now beginning to understand he had the money. He didn't have the blessing. No. Take the money and give me the blessing. You see, 
a lot of pastors, a lot of pastors have been destroyed because they love the money and they were separated from the blessing. So they become greedy. They steal from members. They rob members. They lie to members. They do all kinds of things to take the, the money of members. They, they push members to do investments just to get their money. Why? Because they don't understand the difference between the blessing and money. Oh God. Father, lift it up. Father, I ask your blessing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me abide under the blessing. That's all that I need. I want to, when I walk out of here, I want to know that my Joshua is okay. I want to know that my Joel is okay. My Sandra, my Veronica, my grandbabies, all my spiritual sons, my spiritual daughters, all the chemists in my life, all these, all these uh, 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 young men in my life and their children. I, when I walk out of here, I want to make sure that all the people associated with me and all their siblings, their children, and their children's children are okay. So therefore, Father, we convert your blessing in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Drop your tithe. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And keep you. Make his face shine upon. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. And give you peace. Choir, get ready. Choir, get ready. The Lord bless you. Make his face shine upon Be gracious to you The Lord turn Face towards you And give you fear Oh, Amen sing and then um, Pastor Debbie will come and lead us in a confession and then the man of God will take over. This morning we have in our midst one of God's choicest servants, Bishop Yao Oswansa. He has been preaching here from um, Monday. It has been, I mean if you have missed this week, oh my God, save yourself save yourself and save your children save yourself and save your children i can never forget he has been a blessing one of the voices in ghana early in the morning on radio um uh, fm station adum fm joy fm and you hear their voice early 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 in the morning 4 a.m you know the first voice you hear um uh, 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 devotion morning devotion blasting prayer in the atmosphere praying for people and I mean people from all over the world tune in I've been on the station many times it's a bishop from um, uh, resurrection resurrection power and living bread amen when the confession takes over uh, when we finish with the confession the next verse you're going to hear is this great servant of God a humble man of God a lovely man of God uh, I, I, I want to borrow the word of the words of Dr. Valley, a very pure man of God who will come and lead us for the next uh, session, the word of God and ministration. Whatever he says to tell you or whatever he tells you to do, please do it in Jesus' name. Let's go. Amen. Hallelujah. The one thing I take is my children are goodly children. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. So your children are goodly children. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word. Amen. Oh my goodness. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a good God. We can't do without his precious Holy Spirit. 
please have our help, our counselor, the accessory man. We are gathered here in your presence, Lord, with our hearts open wide, with lifted hands and with open hearts, we welcome you to abide.
your spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Are you excited Send this us morning? Spirit, Lord. Send us if you've spirit. been here for the whole two Glory weeks, Jesus. you have hallelujah. experienced something. I just want to tell you, church, I stayed because Amen. there was an emergency in Ghana, but I think God was setting me up. Because when I walked in to, I think the 16th, it was the 15th day of the fast. And um, Bishop uh, Osuansa was preaching and he said, save yourself and your son. Because Prophet Nathan went to Bathsheba and he said, save yourself and your son. You know, God is setting you up for something. He's actually doing something great in your life. And I believe that he's setting you up so that you can save yourself. Focus on what God wants you to become. He wants you to come out of yourself so that you can be saved. Hallelujah. This morning, I'm excited that I stayed under this umbrella. I, I, I am excited that I stayed under my father. The things I've heard, I've heard about the blessing that he's talking about. Oh my God. But it's a different level. I got the revelation that when you stay with God, the blessing... The blessing, it will keep you until you go back to your father. It will keep you. It will supply for you. It will cover your children. It will give you something to eat. It will give you your cars. It will give you whatever you need. Your peace. Your relationships. It will save you. I am so excited that I stayed. That I'm here. And I know God was setting me up. And the crown of it was that I was listening to... Um, Papa, when he was going over um, Jericho Hour, and I was in Texas, and I was listening, and he said, there was a scripture, I think it was Hosea 3, 3, 8, 3, 3, 8 and, 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 and the B section, because I went back to read it, and he said that, um, and they became afraid of, of the goodness, he says, of the Lord and of the goodness of the Lord. And then you said something, Papa. I'm not preaching, no, but I am so excited. I'm leaving and, I, I, and I'm, I'm excited that I stayed because, you know, where we are in Ghana, it's, it's a different terrain and you need that covering. And, and he said something. He said something about the blessing. He said something about them being afraid of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord. And he said, how can you be afraid of the goodness of the Lord. How can you be afraid of good? That means he will surprise you that when you look at it, you're going to say, oh my gosh, I am just so excited about this goodness. God will surprise you with goodness that you will be astonished and you will be fearful. You won't even be able to say anything. You will be caught in fear because the goodness will overwhelm you. Hallelujah. May we be upstanding and go over this. Confess it like you have no tomorrow because God is the one that brings our confessions to Amen. pass. Now let's go. I am, I am a, a believer and, and not, not a doubter. This, this year, year, I submit every area of my life to the leadings of the Holy Spirit and the, and the incorruptible word of God. God. The blessing is with me. I, for I live a supernatural life. I am, I am blessed, blessed to be a blessing. blessing. I will be a blessing this year. My I walk with God will be stronger this year. I am a giver. The, the blessing of favor, long, long life, prosperity, prosperity divine, divine health, and goodwill are upon me. Exponential increase is my portion. Everything I do and touch prospers. Every day shall be better than the day before. I will be, I will not be a borrower, but a lender. I will do my part spiritually and financially for the building of the kingdom of God. I am secured and protected through the blood. The blood is speaking for me every day of this year. Sudden destruction, evil occurrences, disasters shall never be my portion. Daily, the Lord will preserve my life and his angels will surround me because I reverence him. I will be a winner in any situation that may arise. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I win souls for the kingdom of God. I will do my part to support my local church and uphold the hands of my pastor. My life will be a testimony of God's goodness I will radiate brightly for the glory of God the Father. 
I declare this is my year of notable miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. Just go ahead and bless the Lord. Let the children of God bless the Lord, exalt the Lord. Give to the Lord a higher praise. 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 Every Father, we have come before you with a grateful heart. We ask that you continue to bless us. You have already started. And we ask that you continue to bless us. We thank you for your servant and your daughter. You are putting together for 40 years. We are grateful for their lives. The example to the next generation and even their generation. Help me even as I share your word. I bow before you. I ask for your grace. I ask for your enablement. Let me speak your word as you have directed me to speak. And let me be a blessing to those that are here and those on the cyber ministry. You sent for your word to heal people. Let it happen today again. In Jesus' mighty name, let the blood of the Lamb cleanse me. Let me be acceptable in your sight and let your glory be revealed in Jesus' matchless name. I pray with thanksgiving. Let somebody shout amen. Amen. Put your hands together unto the Lord. But then before you take your seat, can we all in appreciation to God another visionary, the dreamer, the trailblazer, our bishop, our papa, and the wife. Can you bless the Lord for their lives? Bless the Lord for their lives. Are you blessing the Lord for their lives? Bless the Lord for their lives. Thank you. Before I read a scripture for today, today is a, one of the wonderful days that you can never escape it. And you can never take it out from your Christian walk. That is the Palm Sunday. That is one of the events that Jesus Christ moved into the city without any denials. He was glorified. Many people hated him, but that day, the Palm Sunday, Jesus was absolute glorified. So tell somebody today you'll be glorified. Speak like you're preaching to that person. Speak like you're prophesying to that person's life. Right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are meeting. We continue our journey tonight. So if you have not been here, I challenge you to be here tonight. Myself and Papa we will stand here together and be a blessing to you. Is there anybody who can say amen to that? Amen. Thank you very much. Papa, thank you very much. And the first lady for your hospitality, for inviting me. My first time of coming here for a whole one week. 
And uh, I am wow. so, 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 so grateful. Can somebody who believed that I came to be a blessing, clap your hands for Papa and the First Lady for me. <laughs> Beloved, I can't tell all here, but uh, dawn in the, uh, very early in the morning, I wrote a message to Papa and I said, I thank you. I thank you, and I wrote a lot. I said, thank you, thank you. Bringing me from Ghana, putting me in this hotel. He came all the way by himself, drove me around. And I was asking him, I, I was feeling shy. <laughs> because me, I'm a shy person, right? And then he took me to places. And asked me, pick, 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 pick something. And I was like, I was confused. <laughs> what should I pick? I, I was nervous. Because I don't get that. For many years, I preaching the gospel. <laughs> Maybe you don't understand. Maybe you've been getting that, so you, you don't understand. The man said, pick. Why should I pick? I was confused. I was disturbed. Why is he setting me on or? Setting a trap because if you pick, he will talk or not. Yehuwah. And if you don't pick, would he talk or not? I pick one, he say, Hey, pick, pick, let me leave you. Pick, pick, <laughs> Papa. The word pick, pick, it has registered here. I, I, I went to the hotel. I said, ah, Why would this father do this to me? I was so embarrassed. Can somebody embarrass him with a clap and a shout? Can somebody shout, pick, 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 pick. Pick, 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 pick. What a man. What a father. What a general. I wish I would stay here for another one week. So I can, I, I can go the number, pick, 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 pick for the third time or second time. But I'm very grateful, very grateful. And I, I called my wife and said, hey, Evia, there are levels. There are levels. <laughs> Some places you can go and they will confuse you. What a shock. And I called my, my first child and I, I called my son who is a military guy here. And I, I called him and said, the man has confused me. He said, what am I? I said, I said Bishop, I, I, I didn't know what to do. And I shared this with my children and um, we are all grateful, Papa. We are so, so grateful. I don't, I don't think you understand, but clap for Papa for me. And um, wow, I am so grateful. So when he was calling for tight payers, ah, what he has done, why can't I pay my tithe? No, I took something from my pocket to pay a tithe. No, no, there are certain things. It is not the quantum that you have. But then you check what God has done through someone. You just have to pay a tithe out of it. I am so grateful. Baba, if you leave me, I will talk about I'm grateful, grateful, and I will close. Give somebody a high five and tell him that you pick, pick, pick. <laughs> but can you help me to salute all the instrumentalists here? You are such wonderful giants. Are, are, you, are you blessing God for their lives for me? Wow. And can you bless God for the choir? They are just amazing. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You are too much. Wow. So Papa is giving you pick, pick, pick. Wow. 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 So I have um, 15 minutes to close. Um, the time is running. So let me, let me push it. Let me push it. Let me push it. Today is a Palm Sunday, so we cannot preach and talk about anything else. So let's read our Bible from the book of Matthew chapter 21. Chapter 21. And thank you all for your hospitality 
the way you smile towards a guest speaker and those who come and pick me from the hotel, you're amazing. And um, I, can't, I, I can't explain enough of this. And thank you, uh, Moses, for picking me from the airport. You are amazing gentleman. Oh, my God. And the first lady is troubling me with a lot of food stuff. Can you embarrass this first lady for me? Hey. Well. I have 15 minutes. So let me go. Verse number one up to four. Matthew chapter 21. Verse one up to four. And when they drew near unto Jerusalem and they were to come to Bedfarge or to the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus to send two of the disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straight away you shall find an ass attired and a cord with a hair. Lose them and bring them unto me. Lose them and bring them unto me. Tell somebody, go and bring them unto me. Go and bring them unto me. Speak louder. Go and bring them unto me. Look at the face of the person and tell him or her. Go and bring them unto me. All right. So the verse 3, and if any man say out unto you, you shall say the Lord hath need of them. And straight away he will send them. Verse number 4. And all this was done. Everybody shout, and all this was done. And all this was done. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. All right, so that one you can go back and um, read and continue that one. And I'm dealing with the go and bring them to me. Just give somebody a high five and tell the person, go and bring them to me. Go and bring them to me. Yes, yes. Turn to another person and tell him or her. Go and bring them to me. Right, so the time is so short, so let me compress it and then let's deal with this matter. Jesus moving his disciples. Papa, they were going unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, Jesus picked the two disciples. In actual fact, he didn't announce to them. But randomly, randomly. Like today, coming here, I, I could not find my tie. So I came here and asked him, Papa, if I can get a tie. But then... We couldn't get it. I called my daughter. I said, come in. Push, push, bring it. But by the time I say, Jack, somebody brought me this and said, it is your parcel. And um, so I won't close for you to have it. And it takes only living faith that you can found this. That we are looking for something. And when you are wondering, Somebody has parceled it, bringing it to you. And uh, gloriously, it matched with my suit. Sure. I mean, sure. to be honest, if I don't have any church going from today, I will land here. Sure. I will be an usher here. My God. Somebody say, sure. Sure. <laughs> and so Jesus called two of the disciples. He called two of the disciples. And then he charged them and gave them an assignment and said to them, go to the village. And they don't belong to that village. They don't belong to that town. But Jesus said, go, 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 go to that village. And then make sure that you will see a donkey. You will see the ass. You will see them. And make sure that you lose them. And then you bring them to me. Mind you, don't forget that. It wasn't the disciples that called Jesus. It is Jesus that called them. According to John chapter 15, it says that you didn't choose me. I chose you. I chose you. And I chose you for you to have an assignment 
I'm giving you responsibility. And the responsibility is that go into the village. I have trained you for some time. But you cannot just follow me all the time like this. You too, you these disciples. I don't know the interpretation which was coming from these two disciples. Because they are 12 and over. But Jesus called these two. And it looks so dangerous, Papa. Because you are being sent to a village. And you are going to lose a donkey which does not belong to you. The tendency that you will be called thieves is there. That's right. And so it is a risky assignment. And it is a dangerous assignment. But Jesus told two of them, go into that village. Go. Two of you, go into that village. There is that possibility that they were asking questions. And that, that they could not even tell Jesus. But Jesus said, go into that village. And when you go, you will see. Tell somebody, when you go, you will see. When you go, you will see. Can you speak louder? When you go, you will see. Tell another person. When you go, you will see. And I'm quenning this word for somebody. After this 21 days, you will see something that you have never seen. Amen. I said, you see something that you have never seen. Amen. You see business that you have never seen. Amen. You will get a husband that you have never, it, it has never crossed your mind. Amen. You will see a wife that it has never crossed your mind. Amen. You will get scholarship that has never crossed your mind. Amen. After these 21 days, I am not a prophet, but I speak Kada as a servant Kada and as an ambassador. I'm speaking the mind hey, of God to you. That God. You see something that you have never prayed for. Amen. You see some good business that you have never prayed for. Amen. You see a certain contract that you have never prayed for. Amen. You see opportunities that has never prayed for. Amen. I stand on this altar, holy altar that my papa has been preaching to you. After 21 days, you see something that has never happened in your life. Amen. May you go out there and see something fresh. Amen. May you see something new in your life. Amen. Amen. May you see certain favor that has never happened in your life. Amen. May you see something that has never happened in your life. Amen. I stand on this holy altar. I speak the mind of the Lord. You see something new. Amen. You see something fresh. Amen. You see opportunities. Amen. You see open doors. Amen. You see open doors. Amen. I am talking to somebody over My here. God. You see open doors. Amen. I'm talking to somebody straight to me. You see certain things. Amen. You see open doors. Amen. You are going to see something that will blow your hey, mind. Amen. Can somebody who believes shout louder? Amen. Amen. I prophesy that you see something uh, new. Lady, you see something new. My brother, you see something new. My sister, you see something new. Take to three people and tell them you are going to see uncommon things. You are going to see uncommon things. Oh, tell you that are, person. You are, you are going, going to, to see uncommon things. What you have never seen. Yeah, my God. What you have never found. Talk about what it. has never hey. happened to you. I preach and I speak the word of the Lord. You see something good. Amen. After today's service, my God. may you see new things. Amen. I say, may you see new things. Amen. May your academic life change. May your family encounter supernatural. May your children come and give you a testimony. Amen. May your husband come home and give you a testimony. Amen. You are going to see something. In the fresh. name of Jesus. Give somebody a free high hey. five. You are going, going to see something new. Amen. Tell somebody you are going to see. You are going to see. I'm not talking about you are going to hear, but you are going to see. Yeah, my God. You are going to see. Jesus. I said you are going to see. Amen. You are going to see. Amen. You will see a new life. Amen. You will see a new testimony. Amen. You will see a turning point. In the name of Jesus. You will see a new dance. You will see testimonies of testimonies. You are going to see tangible things. Oh, you are going to see tangible things. You are going to see tangible things. You are going to see, you are going to see something Amen. Is there anybody who believes that you are going to see something new? Yes, yeah, yeah, Clap yeah. your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Randomly, Jesus called him. May random testimonies come on your way. Amen. May random testimony come on your way. Amen. Something that you have never thought of, yeah, it yeah. is going to happen in your life. Amen. Can somebody shout three times amen to that? 
Thank you. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand in the oil in this house and the mantle of this house and I speak that you see something fresh. Amen. You see something that will blow your mind. Amen. It will never be negative. It will be positive my God, things. My God, my God. You see positive things. Amen. Anybody who believes shall Lord, amen. Amen. And Jesus said they will see. And Jesus said to them, you will see. That's right. And I'm standing as an ambassador. That's I'm right. telling you that you will see good things. Amen. I said you will see good things. Amen. Does anybody believe that you are going to see new things? Yes, I believe. According to Jeremiah, he said, what do you see? Jeremiah hey. chapter 1. Hey. He said, what do you see? Yeah. And he said, what do you see? You see right. My God. From today, may you see the right thing. Amen. I said, may you see the right thing. Amen. May your household see the right thing. Amen. May your children see the right thing. Amen. May your business see the right thing. Amen. May your family see a right Amen. thing. Amen. Somebody rise up and say, I'm going to see new things. I'm going to see new things. Shout louder. I'm going to see new things. Shout louder. I'm going to see new the things. The things that you've been seeing that are negative. That's right. I cancel it from your life. The name of from Jesus. today you will see new things. Amen. You will see new things. Amen. You will see opening doors. Amen. You will see testimonies. Amen. You will touch testimonies. Amen. You will see abundance. Amen. Does anybody believe that this is your word? Yeah. yeah. If it is your word, shout yeah. Yeah. You will mm. see. Mm. Mm. You will see. Touch your chest and say to yourself, I will see new things. I will see new things. Oh, come on, shout one more time. I will see new things. Shout, I will see new things. I will see new things. I wish you answer. I and so Standing in the presence of the Lord. Standing in the presence of the my Lord. My seeing ability. My seeing ability. My seeing ability. My seeing ability. Is going to change. Is going to change. After this 21 days. After this 21 days. Oh, I prophesy it will happen to you. I receive it. It will it. happen to your children. I receive it. It will happen it. to your husband. I believe it. It will happen in your family. I receive if it. If anybody believes, shout it. Yeah. Yeah. Clap your hands and take your seat, ladies and gentlemen. So Jeremiah asks, God asks him, what do you say? And these are the disciples that were working with Christ. And Christ said, go you see. And may I suggest and, and, and proclaim and prophesy that 21 days we don't go through without seeing new things. From today, from this night, from tomorrow, Monday, may God help you to see new things. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen again. Amen. And then Jesus said, you go and then you will see. So Jeremiah, moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? He mentioned his name. He said, Jeremiah, what do you see? So my, I'm putting my name there. Yahushua and said, what do you see? So mention that. I mention your name. Yahushua said, what do you see? Hey. I, and, yes. and, and, so ben, what do you see? and then he said, I see a branch of an almond tree. And check what the Lord said. And the Lord said in the verse 12. The Lord said in the verse 12. Can I get a verse 12? And the Lord said, you see right. Then the Lord said, you have seen well. From today, may you see right. Amen. May you see well. Amen. Tell somebody, may you see well. Amen. Tell somebody, you will see well. You will see well. Tell another person, you will see right. You will see right. Tell another person, you will see right. You will see right. You will not see the bad dreams anymore. You will not see that. You will not see the sickness anymore. Amen. You will not see the poverty anymore. Amen. You will not see the casting of spells anymore. Amen. People hurt you, but you not see that one. My God. You will see right. Amen. I touch my eyes and I will see right. Will see right. Anoint your eyes and see right. I will see right. Oh, your children will see right. Amen. Ah, your business will see right. Amen. Is somebody seeing something right now? Yes, yes. yes. I pray that you will not see bitterness. Ah, amen. You will not see Mark sickness. You will not see disappointment. But from today, Lip. you you will see right things. Amen. Is there anybody who is ready to clap and shout and see the right things? Amen. What do you see? What you see informs of your destiny and your future. What you see informs your confessions. 
Many people, the things they see, when you meet them, they don't want to smile. Their face looks as somebody baptized by lemon juice because they don't see right. There are certain people, when you see them in church, they cannot smile towards you because the things that they saw in the house, it is not workable. But I stand in the oil in this house and the glory in this house. May God change your seeing ability. Amen. I said, may God see in your power to see. May he change it for you. Amen. You will not see the calamity of the past years. My God. The last man challenges will not be continued. It will never happen again. Amen. You will see the right there. Yes, Lord. You will see a right there. Yes, Lord. Can I prophesy again? My God. Your children will see good results. Amen. Your children destiny will see good results. Amen. What the doctor said to you three months ago, that is not what you are going to see anymore. Amen. And next time you go to the same doctor, the doctor will tell you everything has vanished out from your life amen. because God is in the work of miracles amen. may God help you to see right amen somebody shout I see right I see right shout one more time I see right I see right speak louder I see right I see right all the month of April you see right amen May you see right amen June July you see right amen August September you see right amen Amen. Monday coming, you see right. Amen. Tuesday, you see right. Amen. Wednesday, you see right. Amen. Thursday, you see right. Amen. I see people seeing businesses, seeing abundance, seeing testimonies, getting messages that will provoke you to give you glory, the glory and honor. Give somebody a high five and tell, see right. See right. Tell another person, see right. See right. From today. If mm. anybody mm. dream mm. and come mm. and tell you that I dream that you are dead and you turn to that person, you are wrong person, hey. you are wrong candidate, hey. you didn't see right. Hey. It wasn't me, hey. but rather it was your mother, My God. or it was your father. Come on, come it on. wasn't me. Hey. May you see right. Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. So Jesus said, "You will see," and Jeremiah said. Yes, this is what I say. And the Lord said, you have seen well. And because you have seen well, I am ready to perform my word. Can I hear amen? Amen. When you see right, it brings God in active miracles in your life. Amen. Oh, can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Over here, they don't like you. When you see right, God will quickly quicken himself and bring your miracle to bear. Amen. May you see right from today. Amen. I am not a prophet, but allow me to be a prophet for you today. From today up to the end of the year, you will see good things in your life. Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Tell somebody and tell him, see right now. See right now. Tell another person, see right. See right. Now, let me jump to the next. So I close. Let me jump to the next. And the Bible says, then he picked two of them. And then he said, when you go, you see the donkey. Lose the donkey. And the child. Lose them. Tell somebody, whatever you see, God wants you to bring deliverance. Whatever you see, God wants you to break deliverance. Okay, let me say it again. God said, when you see the donkey, lose them. These are two people going on assignment. Like me here, I am here because Bishop invited me. Don't you think that I am being here, we are here to lose people. I am not here to join my faith with Bishop to bound people and to cheat people. And to depress people. And to suppress people. Hey. I therefore join my faith with the bishop. Come on. I lose you out from every entanglement. Amen. I lose you out from every chain. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I lose yeah. you right now. Amen. I lose you from your financial challenges. Amen. I lose you from the, 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 the challenges you are going through. Amen. I said I lose somebody. Amen. I stand on this altar. By the stretching of my arms. My God. I lose you right now. Amen. I cannot touch you. My God. But I'm losing you right now. Amen. I lose you from every chain. Amen. I lose you with the corporate anointed. Amen. By the corporate anointed. Zadabaha. By the corporate anointed. Zadabaha. By the corporate anointed.
lifted loose you up from every chain my god every shame amen every disgrace amen every disappointment amen somebody shout i am loose i am loose somebody shout i am loose i am loose shout one more time i am loose tell somebody you are loose now you are loose now shout somebody tell somebody you are loose now you are loose now tell another person you are loose now you are loose now anything which was bound in you my god i stand in authority of the word of the lord I lose you right now. Amen. May you go and rejoice. Amen. May you go and dance. Amen. May you go and have testimony. Amen. May you go and stomp. Amen. May you go and clap. Amen. May you go and dress well. Amen. May you go and have a testimony. Amen. I lose you now. Hey. You are loose. Amen. Go to three people and tell them you are loose. You are loose. You are loose. Three people. You are loose. You are loose. Go to You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. Beloved, you are loose. Depression. Uh, you are loose. Sickness. You are loose. Debt. You are loose. Shame. You are loose. Disgrace. You are loose. Anything. I, uh, anything uh, that is holding your joy. You are loose. Holding your happiness. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. Somebody shout, I am loose. I am loose. Shout like you believe. It. I am loose. Shout like it is yours. I am loose. Oh. My God. Shout. I can tell you that within three months you'll be like a petty dumb hey. because you are loose. Hey. You will be counting blessings. Hey. You will count the numbers of blessings. Hey. Why? Because you are loose. Hey. Touch somebody and tell him three months by this time. Three months by this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go to somebody and tell him or her. Three months by this time. Three months by this time. I will see you on a higher level. I will see you on a higher level. Because you are loose. Because you are loose. No weapon can find you. No wickedness. No sickness. No disease. No human being can curse you. You are uncursable child. Because you are loose. You may hurt me, hey. but I don't care how you hurt me. I am loose. I am loose. I, am loose. I used to come to church. Hey. I cannot dance because certain people dislike me. But from today, hey. you will dance again. Hey. You will dance again. Hey. You will clap again. You will shout again. You will scream again. Yeah. Yeah. You will scream again. Those that were wishing your downfall, they will see you up there. I said they will see you up there. Amen. Because we are loose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at three people that tell them, I see you going high. I see, I see you, you going, going far. I see you, I see you jumping. I see you, I see you clapping. I see you, I see you have a test. I see, I see you. you, I see you, yeah, I see you to the next level. Anybody please shout it? Yeah! yeah. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I close now? Can I close now? No, 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 no. And Jesus said, when you go, lose them. Check the word again. Lose them and bring them to me. Come on now. Lose them and bring them to Bishop. My God. Huh? Lose them and bring them to Sofumami. That is the reason why mm. you have a battle. When you offend somebody to leave the church, you have a battle with Jesus. Because we lose the person to bring the person to Jesus. That's right. That's oh, right. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. So you may not like the way I dance, but I did not come to you. I came to Jesus. Hey. No matter how crooked I am, hey. no matter how poor I am, hey. he saw me from afar yeah. and yeah. said, lose Yehushu answer lose. and bring Yehushu answer to me. My God. I, may be, I may be a hey. smoker, I, but I, he I, lost I, me. I, I, I may I, be I, a womanizer, but he lost me. That's right. I may be a drunkard, Jesus. but he lost me. That's right. It is him who changes life. Hey. Ah, may the Lord change you. Amen. Change you. No, can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Tell somebody I am 
here because of Jesus. I am here because of Jesus. Shout louder one more time. I am, I am here, here because, because of Jesus. Jesus said, lose them and bring them to who? Me. Huh? Somebody say, I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. I didn't hear you saying it. I am for Jesus. I didn't hear your word. I am for Jesus. Come on, somebody say, I am here. I, I am, am here, here because I am for Jesus. Because I am for Jesus. Shout, I am here. I am here. Because Jesus is waiting for me. Because yeah. Jesus is waiting for me. So Jesus said, lose them and bring them. Come on, speak. I am my family. Hey. Shout, I am my family. I am my family. We have come to Jesus. We have come to Jesus. Tell the person, stand, what is your matter? What is your matter? matter? What is your matter? Oh, yeah. We have come to yeah. Jesus. Maybe you don't like me, but we have come to Jesus. Yehovah. My walking, you don't like him, but I have come Jesus, to Jesus. What a shock. The way I paint my face, you don't like it. Ay, 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 but I've ay, come ay, to ay, Jesus. Ay, 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 my God. The way I talk, you don't like it. Yonder. But I've come to Jesus. He said, bring them to me. Oh, anybody who despises you will be disappointed. Amen. You didn't hear what I said. Anybody who despises you will be disappointed. Because Jesus is waiting for you. Amen. I said, Jesus is waiting for you. Amen. Tell somebody, he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Tell three people, Jesus. Jesus. Is waiting. Is waiting. To decorate you. To decorate you. To change your life. To change your life. To transform your life. To transform your life. No, so check, check the scripture. He said, lose them. Bring them to me. So it doesn't matter how you see the person. Jesus is aware of the weakness of that person. But he said, bring them to me. Mm. Tell somebody, I am here because of Jesus. I'm here because of Jesus. Tell the person that I know he will change my life. I know he will change he will my life. He will transform my life. He will transform my life. Tell another person that God is going to make me a new person. God is going to make me a new person. Amen. So check, check, check again. Chapter 11 of Mark. Chapter 11 of Mark. And it says that when they brought the donkey and the child to Jesus, Jesus sat on the donkey. <laughs> you may see me as a useless person, but Jesus was set on me. Amen. Oh, from the village, you know, they were in the village. But Jesus said, bring them out from the village. You will never remain in the village. Amen. I didn't hear it. Amen. Amen. Shout, I will not remain in my past. I will not remain in my past. Shout one more time. I will not remain in my past. Speak louder. I'm I done. will not remain in my past. Come on, speak louder. I will not remain in my past. Touch somebody and tell him or her, I will not remain in my village. I will not remain in my village. There are certain people, Papa, when, when they see church members, they want to bring them down. Where do you come from? Who are you? What do you think you can do? I don't care where I'm coming from. Jesus was waiting for me. I am a village boy. But he said I should come to the city. I am now a city boy. May you become the city woman. Amen. May you become the chief executive. Amen. May you become the pilot. Amen. May you become the what God wanted to be. Amen. Can I hear a louder shout? Amen. Amen. We continue tonight. We continue tonight. I said we continue tonight. Hey. I said we continue tonight. She. 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 Jesus said, bring them. Jesus didn't say, bring the mother. Bring the mother and the child. That is the reason why you cannot tell me you are blessed and your children are under curse. No, no, it will never happen. Amen. No matter what is battling your life, as long as you have come to Christ, hey. 
you have come to Messiah, Amen. He will transform your children. Amen. He will change your children. Amen. He will change your children. Amen. He will change your children. Amen. Shout, my children are coming to the Lord. The children are coming to the Lord. Shout one more time. My children are coming to the Lord. By a week by this time, you will see the weed smoker coming to the house. Amen. You will see the drug addict coming to the house. Amen. Tell somebody I'm talking about you. Tell the person I'm talking about talking you. Talking about you. I'm talking about you and your family. My God, you are coming to Christ. Amen. Tell him we are coming to Christ. We are coming to Christ. And Jesus did what? Jesus sat on the donkey. A villager has become popular. A villager has become acceptable. A villager. Now the Bible, when you check verse, verse chapter, chapter, Mark 11, the verse number 7, it says that then everybody, they were throwing their towels, their dresses on the land for the village donkey. The village donkey. So when I listen to Papa talking about you prosper, you prosper, I say, ah, this man. You see, where we are coming from, we don't have any hope. But when you come to Jesus, he will allow people to throw their clothes, their gold, mm, mm, their diamonds, mm, mm. their blessings, My God. and you walk on them. Amen. After this Easter, you walk on higher grounds. Amen. You walk on a places higher place. Amen. You will not still continue to be where you are. My God. Tell somebody, I'm walking in higher places. I'm walking in higher places. Tell the person, I am walking now. I am walking. I now. am walking on gold. I'm walking. I am gold. walking on silver. I'm walking on I am walking on diamond. I'm walking on I am diamond. walking on the prosperous life. Ba, ma, I am ba, walking ba, ba, ba. on a supernatural. Ba, da, ba, the way you used to know me that is not how i am going to hey. be ah, look, look at the person if the person didn't say anything to you suspect that person hey hey suspect i suspect you you want me to remain in the village but i will not remain in the village I will walk hey. in the corridors of high. Come on, come on. I will walk That's right. in the office of the president. In the name of Jesus. I will walk That's right. in the office of the bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May the Lord bless you. Amen. I said, may the Lord bless you. Amen. May you walk in the higher places. Amen. No, I didn't hear amen from here. Amen. I said, may you walk in the higher places. Amen. You will not continue to be a poor person. Hey. Change has come. Hey. Somebody said, change has come. Change has come. Yakuma fahata vehata. So Jesus said, bring, bring, bring the mother and bring the child. Somebody shall bring the mother and the child. Bring the mother and the child. Shout louder. Bring the mother and the child. Speak louder. Bring the mother you and the child. You are prophesying. Speak one more time. Bring the mother and the child. Yes. So you, the father sitting here, you have left some of your children somewhere. I challenge you. By three months time, you see that child. You can never recognize it. Amen. Because the mother is taking the child. To Christ Jesus. Lift your hands and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, I thank you so much. Thank you so much. That I have come to you. That I've come to you. And garments have been put down. And garments have been put down. For me to walk on them. For me to walk on them. Ladies and gentlemen, in this life, when you connect to yourself with the right person, you walk on garments. I didn't hear the amen. Amen. Connect yourself with the right man. Amen. And you walk on garments. You walk on gold. You walk on silver. I have told you, it has never happened in my life. I started traveling, preaching the gospel since 1989. 1989. Around this time, 1989, I was in Holland. A young, tiny boy. But yesterday, Papa blew my mind. Something that has never happened, it happened yesterday. So I'm telling you that, you too, you are going to pick and pick and pick and pick hey. and pick hey. and pick. Hey. You'll pick 
favor. My God. You will pick anointing. Yes. You will yes. pick prosperity. Yes, Lord. You will pick healing. Yes, Lord. You will pick abundance. Yes, Lord. Expansion of horizon. In the name of Jesus. So can somebody shout, Yay! Yay! It takes just one encounter for a transformation to happen. It's not, it's, it's not the many years that you come to church. Just one encounter. My Come on, tell God. somebody one encounter. One encounter. Come on, tell somebody one encounter. One encounter. Speak louder one more time. One encounter. Speak like you believe what you are talking about. One encounter. Speak and prophesy. One encounter. Shout, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let me have one encounter with Let you. Let me have one encounter with you. That is why when you come to church, don't just mingle and socialize like you have come into a marketplace. But make sure that you draw closer to Christ. When you draw closer to Christ, you will turn and change your life and put you on a higher pedigree. May it be unto you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Can you say, oh Lord? Oh Lord. I commit myself. I commit myself. I dedicate my life. I dedicate my life. I and my family. I and my family. We are for you. We are for you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We surrender our lives. We surrender our lives. I and my family. I and my family. I and my siblings. I am my siblings. I and my father's house. I am my father's house. I and my mother's house. I am my mother's house. We were disconnected. We are disconnected. We were disconnected. We were disconnected. But today. But today. You have called us. You have called us. To come back home. To come back home. We lift our hands to you. We lift our hands to you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Use us. Use us. For your glorification. For your glorification. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray in any language that you can? Lepa kadumi ya do brosi kadumi ayadi mi lepa pakadi mi is somebody talking to heaven? Is somebody speaking a language of heaven? I see you coming out. I see you coming to the next level. I see garment being put in front of you. Ye koma voroski kado brosi raba do pakadi lele le ba sini mi na kado ba sheke deke ha. Can you speak in time for the next? 20 seconds. The next 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 20 seconds. Connect to the right person. Connect your life. Connect to the Savior. Connect to the Messiah. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Can you give me 20 seconds of your time again? 20 seconds. Can you stand up wherever you are? And as a mother, as a father, you are pulling your children into the altar of the Lord. You are trusting God that if I've been released, I pull my children. I pull my first child. I pull my second child. I pull my third child. When, when, when Joshua, Joshua, came up here, I was watching him. And you can see some kind of glory. When, when he turned to the parents, you can see that the face is, is really shining. When he looks at anybody, yes, the countenance is okay, but when he turns to the father and mother, that is magnetism grace. When your father is up there, he is pulling you little by little. Gradually pulling. And, and tonight, 20 seconds, I want you to pray for your children. Either you have some or not, it's not an issue. Either you like it or not, you give birth. Either you like it or not. Unless you say you don't want it. But even picking certain people's children, taking care of them, makes you a father and a mother. Ladies and gentlemen, the next 20 seconds, pray and pull every children that are connected to you. Children that are connected to you. Look at the children that were dancing here. My heart was rejoicing. What a gift demonstrating the, the manifestation of God's glory. Oh, if you, if you feel like coming to the altar, just do that for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I pull my children. I pull my children. Every giant's gift, count 
We snatch them I pull my household. out of the hands of the enemy. I pull my household. Out of the I pull my children. We connect them I pull my sons. to the I presence of the daughter. Almighty God. Hey. We pull them. I pull my wife. We pull them. I pull my household. We pull them. Libraham do Kadumiha, Rere Lebasaya, Masundi Ekabahayando, Mando Lolobosini Mikayan de Librosia, Sedibi Ayanda Katama Baba Baba Baso, Lolobrosini Mi Adebrihanda Yakabua, in the name of Jesus, Sidimi Hayanda Labosini Mi, Ikadobo Sidi. You are here. Can you bring your daughter, please? Bring yourself and your daughter. We worship you. We worship you. Yeah. You are here. Lord. Turn your life. I bring them before you, oh Lord. Whenever you save a mother, you save children. Thank you for the new things that you are doing. Thank you for your visitation and your supernatural revelation in the oh, Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we put our hands together? You are here, turning lights around. Can you please clap your hands and shout and give to him? Please take your seat. Give me two minutes to do this. One of the nights, God, God ministered to me for us to connect to the, the 40 years of our father. When I sat here, and ministrations was going on, specifically when the choir were ministering, God said, let every family connect to the 40 years. Not that you are, you are giving it to them. But you and your family, you are connecting by giving the 400 I told you the other time. 
And any family that is ready to do this, 400, you are connecting to the 40 years grace. What they have gone through. And then when I'm done, he will speak a word into your life. The life of your family. That is what I heard. So any family that want to be part of this, and from today, just come. Take one envelope. You're giving God a 400. It is not that you are, you are giving money, but it's a, it's a connection. And it is, it is a covenant. Any family that want to do, just come forward. You want to do, you want to be part of it. You want to be part of it. Come, pick envelope. Pick this envelope. Yes, come and pick this envelope. Oh, I did some last, last, last three days. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about today. Just connect yourself right now. And the 40 years of their lives, when you hear Bishop talking about the history, and God is going to take you and your family into a level which will blow your mind. If you want to be part, just come forward. Just come forward. Just come forward. Just come forward. No amount of money can bring this change. It is a covenant step that we are taking. God bless you. Yes. You don't know how it is for a family to be disjointed and be frustrated. You don't understand. And I said the 40 years of this family just connect to that years. Connect. Connect. You want to be part. You want to be part, come. I took only two minutes to do that. You want to be part, come forward. And just sow the seed and trust God that your family will encounter the supernatural, the level where God has taken our Father to make your family go far beyond that. May you go far beyond that. May you go far beyond that. Is there anybody who want to be part of it? You want to give God 340, 240. 140. I want the 40, 40, 40 to run through. You want to give, but you want to give 240, 340, 140. Yes, just, just be part. Just be part. God bless you, sir. Yes, God bless you. Yes, God, God bless you. 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 140, 240, 340. I'm a servant. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You should have just given me a second. I will come to you. Yes. Yes. You want to come. 140, 240, 340. Just be part. Yes, come. You are a young person. You want to go higher above where Bishop and the wife, their marriage and their relationship too. You want to go to that level. Commit yourself into this. Come, take an envelope. You are not married. You are trusting God to have a relationship like this. Come and be part of this. Come and be part of this. Come and be part of this. You know that you are single. You know that you've been going through some challenges. That is what I do. When I see certain people blessed by God, I pray for God to release the anointing in those people into mine. I covet that. This one I covet. You want to be part. You want your family, your children to go to that level. Quick, come. And I'm done. Quick, come. And I'm done. And anybody who want to give any seed, like 100, 50, 25, 30, come and pick an envelope. Yes. Anybody who want to give a seed, 100, 50, 90, 70, 71, just come. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Yes, God bless you. You want
want to give a seed today. Based on the word of God that came, just come. Just come. God bless you. 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 You want to give something to God today? Can be 100, can be 50, can be 70, just come. God bless each and everyone doing this. Either you have it or not, don't worry. If you don't have it, but believe me, even if it's the last one to eat with your family, get yourself involved. Get yourself involved. God bless you. 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 Oh, God bless you. I said, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And if you finish, just come to the altar. Make sure spend about 20 seconds here. 20 seconds here. 20 seconds here. Spend 20 seconds here. Spend 20 seconds here. Yeah, of course, give us. Oh, you are, you are. 20 seconds here. 20 seconds. You are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Oh, that is who you are. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. That is who you are. God bless you. Ah, God bless you. Those that are working on this at the back, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You will not understand this, but in the near future, you'll remember that the 40th anniversary of Papa. You connected yourself and God will honor you in that. For the last, can you please look at my face? Please look at my face. I came with a flight. I slept in a hotel. I will leave there tomorrow, God willing. Can I get somebody who will say that I've been blessed by your ministry? Thank you very much. Thank you. So you want to be part of the ticket that the church bought for me. You want to be part. I can't give you the figure, but you want to be part. You want to give 500, you want to give 200, you want to give 1,000 that the church will not own. But you are saying that, Bishop, the fly that you came with and the hotel where you slept, I and my family, we are contributing. We are con Yes, young lady, God bless you. We are contributing. Can I get some of the red, red the, the, the wine envelopes? You have some? If you don't have it, no problem. Is there in the family that saying that we have enjoyed your staying here and you want to contribute to this trip? Any family who want to contribute, just come and take envelope. You won't tell me how much, but know that the ticket is very expensive. So you want to be part. Anybody, anyone, any family, God bless you, sir. You sing very well. I didn't know so. Wow. You sing very well. Any family that are saying that I want to be part of the ticket because you have enjoyed the ministry. You want to do that 500, you want to do that 1,000, you want to do that even 2,000, or you want to take the whole cost. Come. Take the whole cost. Come. Hey, my good friend. My good friend. My good friend. Yes, you want to be part of that time. Thank you. You want to do that 1,000 or 500 or 2,000, the flight and the hotel. I mean, I mean, it is good that 
my bishop and my papa put me in the right place. And it is my responsibility to make sure that you are part of those who support it. Anybody? Any family? And you're saying that I, I want to be part of that ticket. I want to be part of the hotel bill. I want to be part. Oh yes, yeah, so that next time when I'm coming here, I can come with a chest out. Because the church are really ready to support. You can support 200. You can support 250. You can support even 100. There is nothing wrong.